Okay. What I'm about to tell tell you right now is what I believe is the most important mindset to have if you really want to overcome stuttering. Now, I'm going to make very clear off the start that I define overcoming stuttering as stuttering not holding you back, stuttering not diluting your personality, stuttering not diluting your expression of yourself. It's not making you feel less worthy. It's not not making you feel less desired. It's not holding back who you are at all. You are the same person whether you're stuttering or you're fluent. That is overcoming stuttering, all right? And that's how I can say I overcome stuttering, even though I still stutter from time to time. It's because it no longer holds me back. What I'm going to explain to you is how I got into this mindset, how I overcame stuttering, how it no longer holds me back, and the most important mindset that I still have now. And I wouldn't have overcome stuttering if I was not thinking this way. So first off, if you don't know who I am, my name is Chase Gillis, and I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way. No speech techniques, no ear devices, no reading out loud in a room by yourself. All that shit doesn't work. All right. If you really want to overcome stuttering and face the fear and anxieties and doubts that are truly holding you back, then you can look at the closest link down below in the description and book a free one-on-one call with me and see if we would be a good fit to work together. So the mindset that I want to share here, I th- I think first we should come to uh, our agreement that your stutter right now is going like this. You have good days, you have bad days. You have good days, you have bad days. The bad days may, may be like, weeks long, maybe months long, maybe days long. And the good days, same, but often shorter than the bad days. And overcoming stuttering is about making these waves go like from big waves to little small waves to little, little small waves to every once in a while, you will hit a bad day every once a year you'll hit a bad conversation, a tough conversation, a bad day. But this is overcoming stuttering where your stutter fluctuates a tiny bit and every once in a while a bigger dip, but it still doesn't hold you back no matter how severe your stutter is. The mistake, so yeah, the mistake that a lot of people make is they wanna get to, to that spot where they're more fluent And what they do is they focus on the fluency. And that's where speech techniques come in. That's where they try to get this fluency in terms of speaking like this and doing speech techniques. And it never addresses the real root issue. And this mindset that I'm gonna give you will, once you incorporate this into your mind and you remind yourself of, remind of yourself, that's funny, not funny, but Convenient, they both say mind, mindset and remind. I've never even thought about that before. That's off topic. Anyway, the mindset you must remind yourself of is let go. Let go of trying to control the waves. If you're trying to control the the stuttering waves, the severity of your stutter, if you're trying to control that, you're going to fucking turn yourself into the most angry, frustrated knot ever. You're going to be distracting yourself because there's going to be so much tension in your body. You're going to think of yourself so low because you cannot figure out like speaking is so simple. Like this, this is what I used to think. Speaking is so simple. I know how to do it. Why am I getting in my own way? And I would try to control the stutter because my measure of progress, my measure of worthiness was based upon how fluent I was being. What you have to do is that thing you're grabbing so tight, your fluency, fucking let that shit go. 
And now we're, we're not letting go of everything. We're transferring control. Right now you're trying to control fluency. You're trying to control your speech. We're transferring that control to something else. Like your stutter is going to be a wave. We let go of control. But what we do not let go of control of is the holding back. So normally when your stutter starts to start, starts to get more severe, you also start to hold back more. I should, probably, I should probably go this this way. When your stutter gets more severe, you start to hold back more. And when you when you start to get more fluent, you you hold back less. And your actions and your holding back are tied to the severity of your stutter. Now, what you have to do is detach that. You must detach how much you hold back to how much you're stuttering. Because the stutter right now is outside of your control. You're just letting this shit wave. But the only way to calm these waves down is for you to not hold back when you start to stutter more. And this means you're gonna have to be more open about your stutter. I know it's fucking scary. I'm telling you the truth though. You, you didn't watch this video to hear stuff that makes you feel good. I only tell you the fucking truth. And you must be able to show your stutter more in order to, in order to overcome it. So you're, you're, you're going to be stuttering more. You're going to be going on waves, but your holding back stays the same. And your holding back is not holding back. Or maybe it's 10% holding back. Or maybe it's 20 or 30%. Maybe it's 50, 60% holding back right now. But the progress you will make isn't by judging your fluency. It's by judging how much you're holding back. So maybe, maybe right now, when you're in a stuttering state, you hold back every word you think you might stutter on. My challenge for you next time is to allow one stutter, one stutter, one stutter to come out. Allow the person to hear one real fucking stutter that you don't try to hide. And you may still always try, not always, but right now you may try to still hide it. That's okay, but you are giving yourself permission to stutter one time. Next time, do it two times. A week later, do it three times. A week later, do it four times. Soon, you'll, you won't be holding back any words. You're going to be openly start openly start openly stuttering more and you're holding back is now not holding back you'll still go on little you'll still go on little waves now but they won't be big waves anymore you're, you're not going to hit that severity that you used to of stuttering because your mind and your body know that it's fucking safe that you are enough that you are valued because you only understand this. You only understand that you're still valued. You're, st you're still able to be loved. You're still able to be respected. You still have a sense of belonging in the group. You, you only understand this when you do not hold back when you're stuttering. But if you continue to hold back every time your stutter increases, you will never allow yourself the ability to understand that people actually don't give a fuck when you when you stutter that p that people will still respect you the same that people will still love you the same you will never give yourself the permission to understand this fully and if you do not understand this fully you'll always hate your stutter you'll always be in res always be in resistance to it I didn't think I could be 24 years old and have a voice crack. I just did though. Do you get what I'm saying? All right. So you, you have to let go of trying to control the wave of the severity of your, of your stutter. Instead, transfer control to, okay, I'm going to work on not holding back more. I'm, I'm going to work on not holding back. I'm going to allow myself to be seen more. I'm going to allow my stutter to come out just a little bit more in the next interaction. And the funny thing is when you give yourself that mindset, 
you stutter significant, significantly less. It's, sim, it's similar to when I tell my clients to stut, to stut, to stutter on purpose. They're like, it was so hard to actually stutter. I was, I gave myself full permission to stutter and I didn't stutter. It was fucking crazy. And it's the same thing because once you're no longer in resistance to your stutter, it fades. All right. That is the most important mindset. And again, this is just one mindset. This is a big one. But if you want the step-by-step -step process and you, you want me to take you by the hand and bring you from st point A to point Z, I, I don't know why people say point, point, point A to B because that's only one or two out of 26 of the way to Z. That's not even that far. You, if you want to go to point A to point Z and you want me to take you by the hand and help you overcome stuttering with within 10 to 12 weeks look down below in the description and book a free call we'll talk for a little bit see if we would be a good fit to work together see if you like my approach see if i get along with you and if it works out you can overcome your stutter in under three months or around three months all right that's it i love you and i hope this was helpful